Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and today I'm going to be presenting a beginner's tutorial for Google+. When Google Plus first came out about a year ago, I wrote over 30 articles and tutorials regarding Google Plus, uh, which I'll link in the description of this video. But I haven't done many much updating in the last year or so, and I don't have any video tutorials regarding Google Plus. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. It's going to mainly feature information on adding friends to circles and posting status updates and dealing with some certain privacy settings here on Google Plus. So I'm not going to get into all the features. We don't have time for everything. Uh, but if you're just starting out or if you've been using it for a little bit and are looking to uh, use it a little bit more efficiently, this should be able to help you out. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so here I am in Google Plus. If you have a Google account, um, Google Plus is available to you. Even if you don't have a Google account, you can create one and then create a Google Plus account. But if you just go to plus.google.com, if it's the first time you're going there, you're going to have to specify, you're going to have to give Google your name. Um, you can upload a picture and that kind of stuff. But once you get the initial account set up, you're going to be at your home page. And I'm going to try and compare most things to Facebook here because I think that's what people are used to. So um, here I am on my home screen, and this is equivalent to my home screen on Facebook. This is where I see posts from all of the people that I follow on Google+, or that I've circled. Um, but it's basically that I'm friends with, although we're going to talk about how that's a little bit different from the traditional Facebook friend in a little bit here. But you can see I see posts from different people. So um, as I go down here, you can see that it's you know very um, new age, the, the style of it. Uh, here's a video that Guy Kowalski posted. Um, and when somebody posts a, a video or a picture or just a regular text post, you have the option to give it a plus one, which is equivalent to a like. I like that. Um, you can reshare it by hitting this share button. Um, and then you can also comment on it. Um, now, when you make a post in Google+, Plus, you can specify whether others are allowed to comment or not. So that's kind of a cool feature as well. Um, so that's what the home page is. Now, I want you to notice something real quick up here at the top. You'll notice that right now I'm looking at all. So I'm looking at all the updates of everybody in any of my circles. Um, in a minute here, I'm going to explain to you how friends work on Google Plus as compared to Facebook. And you'll see why I have these other options. I have an all but work option. These are options I've created. So this, if I click on this, I'll see posts from everybody I follow, except for the people who I work with, because I've excluded them in this group. Um, I have a group just for friends, and I've actually got a whole bunch of different groups. I've got a group for celebrities, for Tampa, I'm from Tampa. Um, Google employees, I like to follow them because I can get some updates on what's going on with Google. Um, tech enthusiasts, my family members. Um, so I could, at any time, I could just look at Google employees. So now I'll go ahead and I'll only see posts from people who work at Google. And it looks like Teresa's the main poster there. Um, so it's pretty cool. Now you'll also notice that at the top of my home page, I've got this box right here that says share what's new. This is where I can post a status update. So I could click in here and um, I could say, hey everyone. How are you doing? And you'll notice that um, I could also upload a picture, a video, I could create an event, which I'm not going to go into too much detail today, or I could add a link. So you can see that we've got a number of different options as to the type of media that we'd like to post on Google+. Now the next section in this status update window is something that's very important. This is the section where you can specify who this post will be visible to. So because I clicked on the Google employees circle up here from this drop down, uh, by default this post is only going to be visible to people in the Google employees circle. So in this case it's actually only one person, um, Teresa. I cleaned out my circles not too long ago so I, I, some of them are a little bit empty. Um, however, if I click in this box, I could go ahead and I could add some more people or circles. So maybe I want this to be visible to everybody in the world, to the public. I could make it a public post. I could make it visible to just people in my circles. Uh, I could make it visible to extended circles. What that is, is that's going to be visible to everybody in my circles and everybody in the circles of people in my circles. It gets a little confusing. I would be careful with the extended circles because you never know who that could be. That could be almost anybody. That could be public. Um, it's going to be a lot of people. Or I could select uh, another one of my specific circles. I could select tech enthusiasts. I can select multiple circles. So I, I could also select big wigs. Um, really, whoever I want. Now I could also add individual people. So I could click on this 
add people button and I can browse all my circles and I can say oh you know I want Anson Alexander to see this post so I click on him and I hit done and you'll notice that my name gets added in there um, now one of the big questions on Google Plus that a lot of people have is how do I send a personal message? Because in Facebook, you can either do status updates, you can post on somebody's wall, or you can send them a private message. And, and in Google+, Plus, it doesn't really work like that. And it gets a little bit confusing. So uh, it's all you all do it in the same place. So if I wanted to send somebody a personal message, I would just write a status update. But instead of adding circles and, and public or, or whatever to who it's visible to, I would just make it visible to Anson Alexander. So this will basically be a message to Anson Alexander. Nobody else in the world will be able to see this post. So I hit share, and <clears throat> now if I go back to my home page, I'll see this post, because I'm Anson Alexander. Nobody else in the world can see it. Um, now, this is obviously a post that I did myself. However, if somebody uh, mentions you in a post, you'll get a notification up here. If somebody adds you into a circle, you'll also get a notification up here. Again, I'm going to talk about circles in a little bit more detail in a minute here. Um, but this serves as your notifications window just like in Facebook so you can see if somebody shares one of your posts or comments on it, you get a notification. Um, right now it says zero, but it would say one, two, three, four. I think it goes up to nine and it just says nine plus um, notifications. Um, now just like in Facebook, I can at mention people. So instead of having to go over here and click on this add person button, I could just use the, I will type hey, and then I could use the at symbol. I could start typing somebody's name, and you'll see the list auto-populates. So I could select Anson Alexander, and I could type how are you again. And if I delete out these other circles, so it's again, this is a private message, basically. It is a Google Plus private message. You'll see I sent it to uh, myself, and I actually at mentioned myself in the message, so I can hover over my name, and you'll see my profile. <clears throat> So that's how you do status updates on Google+. Plus. Uh, now, like I said, I don't have time to cover everything, but I do want to cover circles because I've been talking a lot about them, and it's a little bit different than Facebook. So if you look on the left side of your Google+, Plus profile, you've got this section that's called circles. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now, since Google+, Plus came out, Facebook has made a lot of changes, um, and some people know about them, some people don't know about them. You actually have all this kind of functionality in Facebook now, too, uh, but you didn't before. Previously in Facebook, you had two options when it came to friending somebody. You could either be friends with them or not be friends with them. If you were friends with them, they could see everything, and you could see all of their stuff. And if you weren't friends with them, you could only see that introduction screen. In Google+, Plus, you have complete customizability, complete control over your friends and what they can see and what they can't see. So you can see... I've got a whole bunch of circles down here, and they're circles that I've created. Um, so I've named them whatever I want. I have one called Friends, Big Wigs, these are like you know famous people. I have tech enthusiasts, family. And when I go to add somebody or follow somebody on Google+, Plus, all I have to do is put them in one of my circles. So Chris Perillo, a lot of you may know who he is. He's a big technology blogger. Um, I could go ahead and I could drag him into my tech enthusiast circle. Now I think he's already in there, and he is. You can see by the message up there. But now, when I showed you earlier that we were viewing the Google employee stream on my homepage, I could just view the tech enthusiast circle and Chris Perillo's post would show up. If I look at the friends circle on my homepage, however, Chris Perillo isn't in that group, so I'm not going to see posts from him. So a pretty common thing that most people do on Google Plus is they'll create circles for different topics. Um, so I'll, you can see I have a photography circle, but I pretty much am, am a tech person, so I could even probably break it down by technology, mobile technology, um, future technology, you know, different stuff like that. But a lot of people might do, you know, um, technology, lifestyle, do-it-yourself, you know, whatever, video games, um, just a whole bunch of different categories based on what the people post often. So if Chris Pearl is posting a lot about, you know, a lot of photography, I could put him in the photography circle. Uh, now, I also want to mention that this is not a two-way relationship. On Facebook, if you're friends, you're both friends with each other. You can both see each other's stuff. Just because I've added Chris Perillo into my tech enthusiast circle does not mean that he's added me to any circles. In fact, he probably hasn't. So even though I'm seeing posts from Chris Perillo in when I look at my tech enthusiast circle or my all circles when I'm at my homepage, it doesn't mean that when I post something, Chris Perillo is seeing it. He doesn't have to add me. It's not a two-way relationship. It can be a two-way relationship, but it doesn't have to be. And also be aware that you can add people to as many circles as you want. So I, I put Chris Pro in Tech Enthusiast and Big Wigs because he's kind of famous. So he's a big wig. Um, now let's say you want to add somebody who's not already in one of your circles because that's really what we're looking at right now. All you have to do is search for him. So I can go up here to this search box 
and I could type Mark Zuckerberg. You can see it auto-populates. Um, I guess he is in my big wig circle. Then I could click on his name, and you'll see when you look at somebody's profile, kind of ironic, Mark Zuckerberg has a Google Plus profile, huh? Uh, but when you look at somebody's profile, at the top right, it's going to show you what circles they're in. So right now it says big wigs. If I didn't have him in any circles, if I unselect it, it says add to circles. So I could add him to big wigs and tech enthusiasts and then it tells me, okay, he's in two circles. So that's the easiest way to add somebody. Now, when you do add somebody to a circle, they're going to be notified that you added them to the circle, but they won't be able to see the name of the circle. So if I go back to my circles real quick. So you could call these whatever you want. You could call them people I hate and you could add people to it and it'll say that Anson Alexander has added you to a circle but it won't tell him the name of the circle so don't worry about that <laughs> you're not gonna get in trouble for for doing that um, like I said I don't have time for everything there's one more thing I want to show you real quick while we're still in here and that's this profile section over here on the left this is your you know profile that people are gonna see when they take a look at your Google Plus account so you can see you've got a number of different sections up here the first part is posts so these are all of your posts you can see that I'm not seeing other people's posts in between my posts. Um, so it's a good way to just look at everything you've posted. Your friends can just look at your things particularly instead of having to, you know, read between the lines of everybody else's posts. Everybody else's posts. The about section is obviously the section that's about you. You've got um, a tagline. You can kind of write whatever you want. An introduction, kind of biography area, your occupation, employment. Um, you know, just like on Facebook, your general profile. You've also got a photo section. I'm not going to show you how to upload photos in this tutorial, although that might be a future video tutorial I'll have here on YouTube. Um, but it's just like Facebook. You want to upload photos, you click on Upload New Photos, and you can add them um, into there. You can also upload videos. I haven't done any of that yet. And then this Plus One section is really cool. You've probably noticed that Google Plus One button around the Internet on pretty much every web page on the Internet these days. And you think that you're just kind of giving the page props by hitting the Plus One button. Well, you are. You know, please hit the plus one button on all my pages. I would love that. But you're also bookmarking the page because when you plus one a page, it's going to be listed in this plus one section of your profile. So if you're at the library, if you're at work, and you want to save a page for later, but if you add it to your bookmarks, you're not going to have it at home because you have a different computer at work than at home. You can hit the plus one button, and you can come into your Google Plus profile, look at your plus ones, and you can find that web page at a later date. That's a pretty cool feature of Google+. Um, one last thing I want to mention about this profile section, if you go to the About section, um, you'll notice that, um, and if I, I'm sorry, if I hit my Edit Profile, if you want to edit your profile, here's where you can do it, this Edit Profile button. If I hit that, you'll notice that to the left of each section, there's a little icon, and that tells you the visibility of that section. So my introduction is visible to everyone. If I scroll down, most of my sections are visible to everybody. I'm a pretty public person. If you're one of my followers on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, you, you probably know that uh, I don't have much to hide, and I want to share all the information possible, but a lot of people don't like that. So let's say I don't want people to know where what my occupation is. I could click on this section, and instead of making it public, I could show it just to people in my circles, just to extended circles, just me. Or I could choose a custom setting. I could say, you know, I don't want the public, I just want my friend circle, or I just want a few people. So you have complete customizability over everything that you show in Google+, whether it be a status update or information in your profile. So that's pretty much all the time I have for today. Uh, Again, this is my introductory Google Plus tutorial. I would love to hear feedback from all of you in the comments section below on what specific features of Google Plus you would like to hear the most about. If you've got some certain things that are confusing you or you just can't find information on, please let me know in the YouTube comments and I will do my best to, to make a tutorial that hopefully answers your question. Uh, so I hope this helped and until next time, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.